Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good afternoon to you all and thank you for joining us today. Every year during Web, University Development organizes a lecture series featuring prominent business leaders and professionals within the kingdom. These individuals have been instrumental in shaping the business outlook within the kingdom and beyond. Our guest speaker today is Dr. Samar Sagaf, Vice Rector of Health Affairs and Acting Vice Rector of Educational Affairs at Princess Noura University. As the first female anatomist in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Dr. Sagaf has made significant contribution to the field of medical education and research. She has authored 38 medical publications, written several books, and has led many government-funded research projects. Her exceptional leadership qualities have earned her her seat in countless scientific and social committees and advisory groups. Prior to joining Princess Noura University, Dr. Sagaf served as the director of the Department of Medical and Health Science Programs at the Saudi Arabian, Saudi Arabian Cultural Mission to the United States in Washington, D.C. Her mentorship at the cultural mission earned her the informal title, the mother of the Saudi students, by the Saudi students themselves. She has also worked at George Washington University, the University of Maryland, and at King Abdulaziz University. Dr. Sagaf holds a bachelor's degree in medicine and surgery from King Abdulaziz University, a master's degree in anatomy and embryology, and a doctoral, doctorate in philosophy in anatomy and embryology from King Saud University. She also earned a certificate of medical education from the University of Illinois. We are delighted to have Dr. Sagaf with, with us today for her speech on leadership as a, lear, as a learning experience. Please help me in welcoming Dr. Sagaf. Thank you so much for this introduction. Thank you for uh, Kaus and Richard Program to invite me to this uh, evening or this morning with uh, starting um, to have this uh, future leader. I hope they will uh, be uh, coming soon. Um, to start with, can you check the please? Okay. Uh, usually, uh, uh, a speaker would like to introduce himself and what post he is, he is actually taking now, or uh, what uh, positions has been held in, in his uh, journey. I usually like to introduce myself in different names because we have a lot of names. We have we are a mothers, we are grandmom. Um, a dean, a post, summer, um, Ahmed, and the best name, I love it, and I earn it by uh, working with my students, 150 Southern scholars at US is the mother of the scholarship. So it's a joint of mothers and leadership. Have you ever been in a situation that you are responsible? Yes, give me an example. You are a mother. Anyone else? In a situation, even if you are a child, from once we are, since we are in a, in a childhood, we, we take in some responsibility. I remember my grandmom, I used to be the spoiled granddaughter uh, because I am the only and the first one coming to, uh, to my family. And she, ha she used to take me to the garden and she gave me a, respons a responsibility to feed the chicken. So in a way that make it very uh, 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 nice manner, uh, when to give to them, how much of cereals, don't throw it in the ground. So a, a responsibility when I was only a third uh, years old. And I took it seriously, I do it in a very good manner, and usually they r try to award me. The same of responsibility when I was seven years of old, do you know that before we don't have 
uh, yani to be lucky to have a dry washers and uh, um, uh, a dryer for um, drying your clothes. So we have to hang the clothes outside and my mother insists that if you do it, you have to do it in the manner of making the smallest size to the biggest size in a way everybody of the neighborhood will see her clothes has been hung in an excellent way. So this is, was my responsibility to do that. <clears throat> Have you ever been told that you will be a future leader? Yes? Can you share me? Who told you? Huh? Every, oh. You are lucky. <laughs> You are lucky that somebody s tell you that you will be a future leader. I cannot remember in my life that somebody tell me that you will be Dr. Samara, a future leader. But I felt that the leadership is something it's inherited here. It's learned by behavior, skills, challenges. So I, 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 I want to remember, say somebody tell me that you will be a future leader, but in some way, some situation, tell me that, yes, I may be a future leader because all the time when I get to the uh, playing with the uh, boys and girls, I used to lead them. They, they, only they usually assign me to do the lines, to do something that I lead this group. So I thought uh, to take the John Maxwell and start to my lecture with his thought, a leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. So he's leading by example. He's taking the same, it's like a wing. They have two wings, have responsibility and authority. And once you have been in this situation, be sure that your responsibility is equal to your authority or you will be not flying in a good way. A lot of interdependence and um, matching, a little bit of matching between what we call the leadership and management. Some of people, they are a good leader, others they are a best manager. And we need both. But you have to think about yourself and to think about the future if you be a future leader. A lot of school, like Cal School or uh, uh, other business school, like um, uh, Oxford or Harvard, the business school, they used to put a lot of extra curriculum activity and they have to have a lot of skills, let the students gain and earn a lot of skills during their um, um, uh, studying um, at, these, at these schools because they th um, last um, uh, Forbes edition, uh, uh, they did a study in 2011. They thought that the best CEO in the world, the best 20 CEO, they earned $40 million per year. But because they are CEOs, they are leaders. So a competency of models that the leaders will have to earn through his uh, uh, leadership and through his um, uh, behavior and thinking and uh, uh, exercising. And this m some of them, they manage people. Some, they are excellent in managing and leading organizations. Other, they manage projects and managing themselves. And to start with, you are the one to manage yourself. If you can, nobody can help you or uh, lead you to, to, to be a good leader except yourself. You are the one who to start that. And you can think this, they are, inter sometimes you use managing people in s different situation. In other part, you're leading organization by vision and um, making a plan or managing yourself by setting up priority, be flexible, or managing projects, small project to get success. CEO having all these competency model and use it in different ways. Everybody know this, that lead by example. Leadership is a leading by example. The boss can give you orders, just do that and do that and he is following you. But the leader usually know. The, he lead by example, he will be, and he will give you the, 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 the way uh, of success. And a lot of theories about what is the difference between leader and manager. Sometime you will be a manager in some project, and sometime you will be a leader in other projects. But the leader, you can differentiate between them very carefully. He usually does the right thing,
but the manager, he does things right. He has policy, he has book, and he wants to follow it. But the, the leader, usually he thinks broader. He wants you to get you into the journey of success, and he wants to get you there and celebrate the achievements. He usually trusts his people and team, innovates, he likes to innovate and likes to get some ideas, the feedback, he respects a lot a feedback um, uh, from, the, from his team. So the manager can help you to climb the, 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 lead, the ladder, but the leader, he will show you where to go. How become a leader I'm today? Oh, the journey is long. Although, it's, it's, for me, it seemed that it is only yesterday. But a lot of challenges. In your trip of life, you have a lot of challenges, a lot of um, uh, situations, up and down. And at that time, you think that, what happened in my life? What did I do? What things happened to me? When I go back, I said, I was a good observer. Yes, I observe a lot, I ask a lot. Once, once I, I child, once of this observation, I can tell you that when I was only uh, four years of old, I told my mother, why my skin is black and your skin is white? Why didn't get me white like you? You are so beautiful and I am a little bit darker skin. Why that? She said, you are beautiful, you are nice, look to your, you are like your father. I said, no, no, I will bring a baby um, powder and try to get all my body with baby powder to, to make it white. So observing and asking and analyzing, I remember one day, 10 years of old, my brother bring me a private tutoring. I used to be the first in my class, alhamdulillah, this is a blessing. Uh, but he used to say, you, you know, you need to be more for enhancing your skill in math and in English. He said, fine, bring it. He came, he said, only for four days, and then he resigned. He said, he went to my father, he said, why you bring me here? I bring you to teach my daughter, she needs help. Uh, no, she doesn't. I usually put a, uh, uh, a plan, uh, lesson to her and then she asked a lot we go out of the lessons and then come back I have to uh, n most of the questions I don't know I have to go back and I have to answer the question and come back to her and she doesn't need that just she's good I make a lot of exam for her she's fine she, not, she doesn't need any private tutor L later on when I need the private tutor my father didn't bring it to me he said no this is fine <laughs> you did it once Responsibility, I, I, I told you about responsibility. Every time we take this responsibility in our life, I read a lot. I used to read one to two books per month. Still now, uh, I, I used to do that, but now with my responsibility, maybe take it in every two uh, months. Uh, wisdom. Do ever in your uh, childhood that somebody tell you or your mother or your father that tell you why you are sitting with the big people or with the elderly people? You like to sit with them? Yes, I used to sit with all elderly people. And I bring some of my friends, I told my mother, my father, I am 10 or 12 or 17, my friends are 30 and 40. He said, my friend. So how could be? I like to sit with them. Although I, I play like a child, but wisdom comes from sitting with um, elderly people. Setting priorities, and this is very important. In my life, I used to have priority in everything. For example, if I have an exam and I get a childbirth, so I put a priority for my childbirth, I get managed to uh, postpone my exam, or uh, if I have a, an exam, I will be socially out of my family social activities, and when I appear again, my family said, oh, some are now appearing that she's having a vacation. So priority is very important to set up your priorities, networking. How many of you can say to me, what is important of networking? Yes. Yes, excellent. You will find that networking will help you in every time in your life. 
And don't forget that try to network in any time. When I go to parties, I network. When I sit in an airplane to somebody, I try to network with him. When I, go, when I have a workshop or something, I network with my friends. Until now, I keep this by networking and I keep people in, uh, in, 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 uh, in attachment and in uh, communications while I'm medical students. We have a group for, uh, we are, the female have a group, we are the group for high school groups. And then I have a group for mid school. I have another group for uh, King Abdelaziz University. So still until now, and now the social media make you more communicative and can you communicate easy. I find that in every step, I have to use my network in my projects. I can know who is best here, I can know who, who can do this job, I can handle to any or uh, make a network for between two projects or two people or two groups. So this is very important in real life to have a good networking. My phone have more than 2,000 something uh, numbers. Believing in your team, and this is, we will come to, uh, I will come to talk about it later when I work in, in different uh, situations. Humanity, be a human being, love what you are doing, love the people you are work, and social, you will come to the social intelligence that you be aware of yourself and get attention to others. Leadership qualities, a lot of theories, a lot of things. But leadership, it's something that sometimes you do it and you practice it and nobody trained that you are a leadership. You do that in everywhere, in every time, in every minute, in every project. But qualities could be different in different situations and different from different leaders. Here's a quiz. I give you two minutes to do it. Please only do the quiz. Don't, don't turn the page. Do the quiz in front of you. Okay, two minutes to do that. Maybe the one who have can use two to three together or? We will come to this quiz at the end, but please don't cheat. <laughs> don't look to the, turn the page. Just make the first page. Yes. Can you please give it to me? Only this page. Try to do this, to try to solve this page. Please do the quiz, don't read the, the other page. Just do the quiz. Who finished? Do the time.
One minute more. So in it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, finish. Let's go next. I said that everybody go on his journey with a lot of challenge, a lot of up and down. Um, there is some sort of calling melting points or changing points or uh, something that you will learn from it or it will squeeze you to get the, out, the best of the best out of you. So my challenge is a lot. I chose some of these um, um, changing points in my life to be uh, or losing your husband with the five kids. The youngest is only five years. The oldest is just finishing the high school. And to start a new journey with your dream you want to fulfill and their dream come to be fulfilled. Alhamdulillah, I'm blessing to have these kids and we decide to get a, an, an, awarded, um, an award by his name, Dr. Bakhashwin's award. He's a specialist in Opsangaini and we um, announced this award for the best researcher in the society, Saudi Society of Opsangaini every year, every year. And two, three of his kids now, uh, two of them finish their MD schools the third one is doing MD school, although they are not want to be like their father in their specialties, but they are, alhamdulillah, best of their school. Um, this challenges give me that at that time I was a spoiled a wife, know nothing about the world except my kids and my study and my uh, 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 working environment. You do everything anything regarding police or iqama or whatever. I don't know about that. And I have to take this all responsibility on my, on his behalf. Uh, and get, God bless him there. The second thing is to choose specializations. I love to be a clinical chemistry. My, my, my uh, teachers, he said, Dr. Summer, you are so, uh, while in internship, you are excellent in analyzing data. So I uh, love the clinical biochemistry to analyze and diagnose diseases. But unfortunately, this department refused me. He said, we have a administrator, we don't need an another one. Administrator in 2000, uh, 1991, I finished in 1997 my PhD in anatomy, and their administrator is still there, and she didn't finish her even master degree. My PhD in anatomy, or the choosing the anatomy, it was the gate of the history to me. I say it in Arabic as a slogan to my students, إذا أردت أن تدخل التاريخ فتخصص تشريح. فإذا أنت, if you want to open the gate for you for history, be an anatomist. Why? Because anatomy for me, give me the chance to be the first in everything. The first anatomist in the kingdom. The first PhD for anatomy in the kingdom. The first director of the uh, um, medical director in SACAM, in Saudi Arabian Culture and Medicine, in the diplomatic way, the first diplomat. The first, the first, the first in, any, in many organizations and many um, um, uh, situations. So it's really opened the gate of history for me. I write a new page in, in, in history. My trip to US, you, you, uh, she said, uh, sorry, your name, Amani. Amani said that, I did graduate from King Abdullah's University in bachelor degree, master and PhD degree from King Saud University. I never been abroad for, teach, for, for learning or having any scholar from outside. I went to outside, okay, I have some journey there and there for some sort of training, but never to have move all your kids 
all your family, half of them here, half of them in U.S., and have a new life started in U.S. to get your career, the first director of the medical um, program in U.S. In leadership positions, I learned that the leadership is not something you have been teach. It's something you make it automatically. It comes with your behavior, with your skills, with your training experience, with your challenges. And I think that we are in rendezvous of leadership. Rand ra la leadership is a rendezvous of skills that make you in reality, make you a real one, and have different positions, governmental, non-governmental, and working with the community and working with the government. It's a very uh, uh, um, yani, uh, scales of leadership. With this journey and with making that a leadership is something you do it automatically and you believe in behaviors and you act and nobody tell you that this is the leader trait. In this journey, I have four important value. I took it there. I be clear and straightforward with my team and my boss. I never satisfied my boss. I usually satisfy my client, my students. And I told my boss, if they are satisfied, you will be satisfied. I will have to be myself. My, and I remember when I was uh, working with the King Abdais University, I have the director of uh, student affair uh, called Mrs. Aziza. If you remember somebody in King Abdelaziz. Mrs. Aziza, she told me, Dr. Samar Sagaf, I knew you from the first day of medical school. You were there, I was uh, in the same post. And I came back as a dean of women campus, and still she is the head of the uh, student uh, affair in uh, medical school. And she said, in one way, I cannot forget her word. Samar, you are the same person. Same as a student, same as a leader. You are yourself. Do right thing and believe on that and be straightforward. Love people and wish to them what they, what they want. And when you love them, you love your students, you love your employee, and you get them to the achievement, I felt that I'm treasure of the love of my students. Leadership is an inclusive thing. Not mean that inclusiveness, that you will do it every time. Sometime in this position, you will use some of it. Or in a way, when you put it in a way, some will be 60%, 80%, 20%, but you have to be inclusive. You have to be vigilant. From your work, you come this inclusiveness, from your experience, from reading, analysis, behavior, whatever you, th you, you, you think that it will learn. I give you some example, I do it myself. Anywhere I went or I go or attend, workshop, business trip, meetings, I have a small uh, diary. I write one or two statements or things or story about these meetings since 20, 25 years. When you come back to it, you will not, never remember where did you remember this story or where did you remember this slogan. You have it because you write it and it comes with you by experience and knowledge is building up, but it will be remembered all over. Sometimes you see one of the uh, speakers, he is um, a leadership in, in, in some of the university, leadership university. I remember one of, uh, um, it was in Tunis, and he said, when I was uh, spoken about King Abdes University, he said, Dr. Summer, you are not honest. I said, what? Yes, you are only talking about positive thing in your university. You never say what is negative there. I said, we are here to share the best experience, the best practice. So why I should tell you my negative? I know my negative. I know the negative of my employee and my uh, uh, university, and we are solving it, but here to share the best experience. I said, nobody can argue with Dr. Summer. And I hope that you will be one day the director of one of the universities for a female universities. I said, why female university? Why wouldn't it be a director? It's only the skillful, the thing that it doesn't matter male or female. Not because I am female, I have to be 
minister or because uh, I have to be ambassadors. It is who deserve it, he will earn it. My anatomy journey helped me to explore things in the body and how many millions and trillions of cells has been controlled in a very well mannered and we study that and how many signals there. Guinea big is, I have, yani, all my experience was in Guinea big. I, uh, about uh, one thousand of Guinea big has been uh, dissected to take the cerebellum and to study uh, the radiation on the cerebellar uh, uh, cortex. They teach me how to be patient, how to be, even when you are working with animals, how to be so kind and human to these animals. When I went to King Abdelaziz University, as I said to you, the inclusiveness, it's not every time there. You use some of it, you plan. When I went there, there is no thing called strategy for the female section. The strategy was putting and implemented in the male sections. So I took that, I said, where are we? We have to have the same uh, plan and we have to have the same strategy and go through. And thanks God, by the end of my post, we have been, uh, I left my post, there is no single female deserve to be promoted. We put a plan to promote everybody in a five years, and we start the first university, start to make the feedback and evaluation of the deans, vice deans. My score was 4.85 out of five, which is good. And they gave me a lot of feedback from that evaluations. I remember one employee said to me, Dr. Samar Sega, if she asked us to jump to the sea, we will jump even if you don't know how to swim. Because she's ready, we are sure that she is ready to have the rescue team there. There's some treasure we are getting from out of the sea. If she jump, we will jump after her. In SACAM, through the Arabian Culture Mission, we face a big problems. I remember the phone call from the ministry, Dr. Khaled al Angari and Dr. Laisa told me that Dr. Samar, we need a leader that can modulate and bridge our students to the, what we call match. Match, it's a competitive way of taking American board. 40,000 students or physicians all over the world, they are competing for 25,000 of seats. It was a dream for every physician, for Saudi physician. Before, we never heard very little about American board certificate Saudi doctors. And now, by bridging and by empowering our students, see where is the gap, make more networking to the university, advocate for our students, we have a lot of affiliations with American University in the five years. We jump from zero acceptance to the being the ninth, eighth, six. And when I left Saudi Arabia Cultural Mission 2015, we were in the top five nation of training physician in US. <laughs> the official institute is responsible for admission, medical specialties, and American congratulate us in the Twitter. And I used to use this social media a lot before I didn't know how to use it. I remember when I used it first time, I said for three months, everybody said to me, Dr. Summer, we mention you, we mention you. So what is it mentioning? I only see the home. <laughs> so I learned how to do that and make the mentioning criteria. This is the celebrations for our students in graduations. And uh, by the way, this is the senior summer. One of the scholar, uh, he yani, so engaged with me and he named his daughter by my name. This is the match when the, we uh, uh, explore the match and we everybody's talk about the match was a dream and now it's come true and every year we uh, match our students. I will talk about a little bit of BNU. BNU is different because it's a completely a woman campus with woman manager, with everything is woman. This is here the chance for me is to empower women regarding education, leadership, and inspiring. Leaders, leadership is usually influential, inspiring, and pursuit. 
we, I try to communicate with people and communicate with uh, 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 female to see where is their weakness and where is their strengths and how to improve them by training, planning, positive communications. And I have another name. One of my colleagues has been nominate me. She told me that you are the maestro of the heart, maestro qulub. Because when you try to speak with everybody, you convince them. And this is what also happened in US, how I convince university, American university to accept my students. And usually I say, this is my student, my kids. And one of the uh, director of program in, 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 uh, in US, he said, you know why? I will let you, I will get, get your students. Because of your passion. I like your passion about your students. In BNU, we win, alhamdulillah, another win by Qiyas. We get the first um, uh, uh, ranked between all universities in Saudi Arabia for uh, computer science, the second in behavior exercise talented teaching, and the third in uh, language college and math of elementary. A lot of <coughs> success <coughs> in being new regarding my student, and I'm telling you, every time I took my responsibility to enhance and empower my students to get the success. We have a lot of success regarding our students, uh, taking the first rank situations among all university. Boeing, <coughs> Boeing um, um, uh, company, we are the first women campus that make uh, a relation between Boeing. He said, even Boeing director, he said, how can I do a relation between you and the medical school? What shall I do there? He said, you can do a lot. And really, they uh, grant our students with the research regarding the um, effect of uh, noise to the, uh, to the uh, listening and hearing uh, problems with uh, Boeing employee. And we gained that project. Uh, a lot of our students get the first um, um, uh, rank uh, uh, competitions. Uh, remember, that your client be the first. Your client could be students, could be administrative, could be professors, could be anything. So focus on your client. Try to empower and try to do all the guidance and evaluation and training and guide them through the teamwork, development, and enriching environments. I believe in five eyes for mentorship. This is my own. Nobody gain it. This is summer's leadership triad for my students. I believe in my students. I bridge them to success. Usually, where is the gap that I have to fill it and I have to get them into success? Advocate when I go to the US uh, or to going to Boeing to uh, any companies, I'm trying to advocate for my students to take the best of the best, promote my students to the public or to the companies and allocate all the resources for their success and winning. Some of the testimony I would like to share with you, this is Mr. Smith, past ambassador for Saudi Arabia. He said that Dr. Samar Sagaf in the United States, when, when there is nobody open the door for the physicians in, in, in US medical school, has single-handed broken down all barrier for every medical school with American Medical Association and whole bureaucracy that said no to Saudi, open all the doors. Another testimony from John Hopkins um, teacher, she said that uh, Dr. Summer Sagaf deserved Nobel Prize, he was so optimistic. <laughs> uh, any work and hard work, don't forget, this hard work usually it is worthy. You will get be recognized. If not recognized by, by, by any human beings, First of all, it will be recognized by your gut. And this, I have been awarded by a lot of awards, and some of them are the honorary PhD degree from San Joseph because of my hard working with the physicians. Medical diplomacy, I'm the first, and this is in, in, in history, the first woman taking the medical diplomacy award from George Washington, and best educator, a Saudi female from New York University. And these are the best top university. And what I like in that, that John Hopkins, they awarded me by name. They give us a Dr. Summer Sagaf Award for Women Health in uh, 
public health school. It is the first school in the world in medicine. Most successful leader at the end, I can try to uh, summarize it in uh, 15 guidelines that you have to make others feel safe when, you, when they speak to you as a leader. Don't let me be afraid that they will have to give you a feedback. Communicate by, expectation, by expectations. Make decisions. I know that leaders, they can make 30 decisions in 30 minutes. Challenge people to think. Give out of them, out the best of them. Be accountable, be lead by example. And measure reward performance. How much you reward, even the reward not, not to be money. Reward could be by single uh, uh, statement. Uh, provide continuous feedback to your team. Uh, properly allocate and deeply talent. Just look for the talented in you. Like we look in PNU, I look in, in uh, uh, SACAM. We look to the talented people to get the success out of them. Problem solving, ask questions and counsel, positive energy attitude, be always positive. And this is, will lead you to how to deal with your body and how to be uh, healthy and make uh, a lot of things that you, you make your, yourself positive. Being a great teacher, invest in relations and the relations could be with your colleagues or with companies around and genuinely enjoy responsibility. Sometime when somebody gives you responsibility, oh my God, I have to be responsible. I have to lead that. No, enjoy it. Make it an enjoyable turn. Uh, I will give you some videos about leadership style. Somebody help us in making the video. See those little black boxes? Can you buy called telephones. I'm going to let you on a little secret about these telephones. They're not going to dial themselves, okay? Without you, they're just worthless hunks of plastic, like a loaded M16 without a trained Marine to pull the trigger. I have a voice. And in the case of the telephone, it's up to each and every one of you, my highly trained Stratonites, my killers. My killers will not take no for an answer. They don't know your heart. I do. I've seen it. You have shown it to me. You have shown this coaching staff, your teammates. You have shown yourselves just exactly who you are in here. When you take that field today, You've got to lay that heart on the line, man. You don't have to be the bad guy. <laughs> you are the most talented, most interesting, and most extraordinary person in the universe. And you are capable of amazing things because you are the special. And so am I. And so is everyone. La gente on mire no mas ne isa. Idere na kopsa verdagon isa. Odaban, skoi dras, trezi kil. You leave tonight. I want this mark all the way back to Earth with time to spare. We never lost an American in space. We're sure as hell not going to lose one on my watch. Failure is not an option. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. And the first and last words out of your filthy sewers will be, sir. Do you maggots understand that? Sir, yes, sir. So, which one of... Can you tell me, share with me?
Can you share with me? Anyone? Situational? Yes? Any other? Visionary? Please. Coaching. Coaching. Affiliated? Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, command. <laughs> okay. So these are different six styles of leadership. We will have a lot in, 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 um, in references, a lot of different types. And some of them, you can use it if you, if you find the six style of leader. Some of you may use it, the, the all six style in one leadership positions. Yani sometimes I have to be a coaching, other I have to be affiliated and very big heart, and sometimes I have to be democratic. So we can use all that in one situation. Or Again, we go back to John Maxwell, a leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. And the best I ever have it in my life and in my uh, teamwork, I said that خَيْرُ النَّاسِ أَنْفَعَهُمْ لِلنَّاسِ So the Holy Prophet Muhammad say the best person is the one who benefit all human being and I won't be the best of the best. Still, the only real legacy that we can leave with is behind is a book. So I'm, inshallah, I will write a book regarding uh, leadership, uh, women and leadership. I'm not really yani, uh, deciding what is the name of the book, but inshallah I will have this. Uh, these are the references, and thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, I Dr. Sagat. I want to excuse me for using the glasses, because this is a, a real glasses, it's not a sunglasses. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Samal Sagaf, for your great and inspiring lecture. We will now open the floor to questions. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, speaking about women and in leadership, when are we going to see engineering schools for women in Saudi Arabia and PNU and in King Saud University? Uh, we already finished from the all uh, uh, layout of the energy engineering school. We are waiting for uh, announcing that until we have to prove it from the higher committee of, uh, uh, of education. You think that's coming soon? Yeah. We hope Hopefully. so. Yani okay. We are only waiting for the permission. Okay. Everything is ready. Thank you. Inshallah. <laughs> and we are also ready for media department and also for, uh, for low uh, college and BNU. Thank you for an excellent talk. We want to ask you about your experience in leading with women and leading with both race, both genders. <laughs> Difficult questions. <laughs> I, I usually say it's not the gender. I believe that. It's not the gender. It's not a male or female. It's where is the quality? Who is the best? So I can give the job to the male or the female. Because I work with the Saudi uh, cultural mission, I work with male and female. I work with students. And, and sometimes I let the uh, female lead because she is the best, she has all the qualification, or the male. This is my belief. It's not something that we have to say male or female. We have to believe that of ourselves, we can lead that. I remember one of the um, early, early beginning, I am the first female to be in the medical board of King Abdelaziz Medical Board, medical school. Most of the leader there, because I am the vice dean, and they are the, the head of the department. Most of them, they are my teacher. So I used to lead them. This is their, yeah, their luck. <laughs> I came here, I am the vice dean, and they are the head of the department. One of them, he cannot accept it. All the time, he's usually taken back and forth with him. And one time, he was so shouting and say something that's out of control. You are not leading us, you are not blah, 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 you are 
حاجات زي كده why we are taking uh, the one of his uh, argument is I have to take the budget and split it half male and female because the, the same the same number so no 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 الرجل مثل حظ الانثيين يعني we have to take part. so you know what I did and I what did I يعني كنت مرة يعني أنا صغيرة وما يعني so young إنه إيش إيش جاوب هي is my teach my my own teachers for many many years I said this talk is not here here we are professor against professor the talk about women half and half هذه في البيت maybe in your home but here we have to be equal because I am I have to be honest to my students. Why should I bring microscope to, my, uh, to, to your students, two microscope and my students one microscope? Why the female have to, three of them share and here the male is not sharing? So here we have to talk and then, if I'm not respected in this whole departmental meetings, I want to register every word has been written and I will take that to the minister and see how can you respect me. And after that, nobody try to <laughs> Yani you make an argument, but make it in a legal way and in a very polite way. So for me, yes, it's difficult for females because usually the female, according to the, uh, a lot of references, they are not taking the leadership position because they are not believe in it. No, they said that we cannot do it. So believe in yourself. You can do it, whatever the gender you are. We'll take one more last question. Uh, Dr. Samar, uh, you mentioned in the beginning of your presentation that leadership is composed of uh, authority and responsibility. But in many situations, you get, uh, you get all the responsibility, but you get zero authority. So Take it. Don't take it. Because either you convince your boss, you have to give me the same responsibility of the authority, or you cannot make it. You will be flying like this. Yeah? I mean, exactly. You are not flying in, in, a, in, a, in a best way to fly your team. So try to convince your boss, this responsibility, I have to take this authority, or I cannot take it. And I do it in all my, either you give me this responsibility, or I am be away. Thank you. On behalf of King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, we would like to thank you, Dr. Samar Sagaf, for participating in our program, and we hope to see you very soon in the near future. Okay.